hello i am back with another video and today we are doing a bridgerton inspired makeup look slash kind of like two looks in one um this is the finished look for daphne inspired makeup it's just very light um they kind of call it like a peaches and cream complexion kind of look and then i'm going to go and deepen it up a little bit and make it more of a queen charlotte kind of look in a minute so if you want to see more just keep on watching so for the look today i wanted to do one that was well the first one being more daphne inspired so like a peaches and cream complexion um very timeless very soft and then i wanted to kind of deepen it and make it look more like queen charlotte's look which is obviously a very toned lip a bit of a darker blush and i'll probably add half lashes to that as well but yeah i'm excited i watched Bridgerton in like a couple days. I couldn't binge watch it because I had work um, and school, but oh my gosh, I love that show so much. It's just mm. Simon, Duke Hastings, A++++, such a beautiful man, honestly. So I'm just using a lot of this because I'm not going to actually use highlighter. This is the Hollywood Flawless Filter, and I'm just rubbing that in as a base on my skin because obviously they did not have highlighter back then so I just want my skin to look nice and glowy and have that kind of luminosity from within. Actually the majority of the looks that I saw in the show were quite matte um, so I'm gonna powder the foundation I have today or it was more um, just looked like skin, like a natural luminosity. So that is what I'm doing today. Just with a little bit of this first and then going into a foundation. I think I'm going to use the Makeup Forever Reboot Foundation. This one seems to be able to like sheer out and give me the coverage that I'm looking for. So I'm just using two pumps of that and going in with my little sponge that is wet. And today I'm actually taking the foundation over my eyelids instead of using concealer um, because Daphne's look, obviously she wasn't wearing an eyeshadow or anything too dramatic. She did seem to have a little bit of um, depth on her lash line, which I'm going to do in a little bit, but I just wanted to kind of neutralize the um, veins that I have on my eyelids. So I'm just going in with the residual foundation from my sponge, making sure everything is nice and blended. I'm going to go in with concealer and I'm going to use my Dior Forever Skin Correct Concealer because this one is just a touch darker than the e.l.f. one and their under eyes weren't too bright. Okay, so majority of the face is done. I'm just gonna very lightly go into some creamy contour. And I'm only doing this because Daphne has quite pronounced cheekbones and I don't have as pronounced. So I'm just going to use a little bit just to create a tiny bit more depth. And I'm going to buff that in actually with a brush today. Now that I've buffed that in with my brush, I'm going to use my sponge just to go over everything. Make sure it's nice and blended. And then I'm going to go into cream blush. So today I'm going to use the Nude Sticks Cherry Blossom Babe Dewy Cuddler. Looks like this. To get that nice royal flush um, to promenade around the gardens as one would say. Um, I did pick out a nice little blue top to match some of Daphne's outfits in the show. I loved all the dresses. Not the biggest fan of the style, like the Empire Waist doesn't really 
um, because it's very flattering on people, but they rocked all of them. And the beading and the embroidery and everything was just stunning. So I've just been dabbing that on my cheeks and then I'm going over that with my sponge again. This look is all about like super, super natural. Effortless, glowy, to be the diamond of the season. One well, must have blushing cheeks to catch the attention of all the suitors. Um, has anyone else been talking in a British accent like way more since they watched Bridgerton too? Because I'm definitely guilty. My dad was British, so I mean, I do it anyways just because I grew up with it, but. I have been doing it even more now that I've watched Bridgerton and I just want to promenade around the gardens and wear my beautiful dress and worry about what Lady Whistledown is writing. Just powdering under my eyes a tad bit and a little over the nose because their look definitely wasn't glowy. like super radiant, they just looked luminous, as if their skin was healthy. But you couldn't really tell that anything was, you know, really on their face. So just a light dusting of powder. So now I'm going to go into eyebrows, and Daphne's eyebrows were basically just brushed up and quite bushy. So I'm going to try to do the same. I do have quite bushy brows already, so I'm not going to try to make them too structured, but I am going to go in with my NYX pencil and then I'm going to use this Essence Make Me Brow. Okay, so I've tried to make the eyebrows as straight as I can. I do have quite curved eyebrows normally, so I tried to kind of straighten them out at the tip and just make them look nice and filled in. Now, for the eyes, I'm not going to do too much, but I do have this Nabla Cupid's Arrow number two liner. And I'm literally just going to run that along the lash line very lightly and then buff it out with a brush. This is just a flat top brush. And right now, I've only done it on the outer half. I haven't gone into the corner of my eye and then just going to blend that out as you can see when it's blended out it doesn't do too much but it just adds a tiny bit of depth to the lash line so i'm going to do the other eye so i'm not sure if you can even really tell the difference but it just darkened it up a tiny bit for a little extra definition now i'm just going to do a tiny bit of mascara um they definitely flaunt those beautiful like blonde lashes, but I'm going to add just a tiny bit of mascara just for a little something. So mascara is on. I just did a very light coat and curled them, and now I'm going to do lips. I'm using the Done Undone Permagel Ultra Lip Pencil from Pat McGrath, and I'm just going to line my lips with that. And I'm not going to overdraw them. I'm actually going to try to make the lip line a tad bit softer. So that alone is a pretty good color for what they were going for. It was pretty much all very light, peachy pink, could almost just be their lip color normally. Um, but I'm going to go over top with the Angel lip cushion from M Cosmetics, just for a little bit of extra shine and color. And I'm going to dab it in with my fingers afterwards. That's pretty much the darkest I ever saw Daphne go with lipstick. Um, it's just very soft, glossy, sometimes matte, but at least when she was at the balls it was like glossy and rosy and pink. It just, ah, uh, I loved it. So I'm going to put my hair in like a little half up half done because obviously I cannot do Regency hair. 
Um, I don't have that capability or that amount of curls to put in my hair to all, for all of that, but I'm just going to put my hair up in the little like half up, half down, and then I'll be back. Okay, now that the Daphne inspired look is done, this is hair just loosely curled with like a one inch wand, and then I am going to go into more blush, a little bit more eyeshadow, and I think I'm going to add some half lashes to make it more of a Queen Charlotte um, inspired look. So first I'm going to take my Lisa Eldred's lipstick in Velvet Blush. When I saw Queen Charlotte's look, I immediately thought of this blush. It was just the perfect tone for what she wore. It does look very dark in the bullet, but I'm gonna swatch some on my hand and just take a brush and dab it on my cheeks and also on my lips as well. So that's what it looks like when it's swatched and it looks just so gorgeous on her complexion. So I'm just using a, this is just an e.l.f. buffing foundation brush and I'm just kind of pressing the product into the brush and then patting on my hand and then I'm just gonna pat that onto my cheeks. Also buffing that into my temple area slash by my eye um, to give that very like flushed look. So again just going into what's on my hand, buffing it in and then going into my temple and cheek. So I basically just continued that until I got the intensity that I want and now I'm going to take my beauty blender and just kind of pat over it to make sure all of the edges are blended. So now I took some Kiss Ritzy lashes and just cut them in half and I'm just going to add those to the outer corner. So lashes are on. I'm going to add one final touch to the blush. And I'm going to use my M Cosmetics Heaven's Glow blush and I'm just going to kind of pat that on the same brush that I used and just dab that on for an extra glow. It's a very blushy look, but... I think it looks nice. And then the Queen also had a little bit of something on her lid, so I'm going to take... I believe this is Sydney Grace Ballet Slipper. No, this is Sydney Grace Aim High. I'm just gonna take a little bit of that on my finger and lightly dust it on my eyelid. Just a little bit of um, brightness. And now for the lips, I'm going to go in with the same lipstick that I use as a blush. It's called Velvet Blush by Lisa Eldridge. I love this color. Okay, so this is the finished look for Queen Charlotte. I kind of blotted the lips a little bit so that it, they're more matte, and yeah, I like how it turned out. Very blushy cheeks, um, just a little bit of something extra on the eyes, and yeah, I had fun doing this. I loved watching Bridgerton. If you have not watched it yet, I definitely recommend it. It is so good. The costumes, the set designs, the actors are just incredible, so let me know what you think. Um, try to recreate a little Bridgerton look yourself if you want. I think that we should definitely bring back this kind of like effortless, glowy, radiant makeup. I just think there's something so magical about it. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Please like and subscribe and let me know what you want to see next time. Bye!